Quarterback Alex Smith and rookie tailback Darius Geis out of LSU are just some of the pieces the Washington Redskins have added this offseason that gives the Skins faithful a ton of hope down there in the nation's capital. We'll examine how much hope they should have as we preview the 2018 Washington Redskins. Take a look at some of the key storylines heading into the season as we go into our four-minute offense. The Redskins will have a new starting quarterback this year in the form of 14-year vet Alex Smith. He was acquired via trade with Kansas City for a promising young corner in Kendall Fuller. Now, the Skins are expecting Smith to be one of the missing pieces on their offense that can provide the game-to-game -game consistency and stability to help them get over the hump. If history is of any indication regarding Smith's game, I'd say that he will be able to give them that and give them what they're looking for as far as stability and consistency is concerned, but getting them over the hump, well, that's still to be determined. And with the addition of Alex Smith, one has to wonder if this year is playoffs or bust for head coach Jay Gruden, who enters his fifth year in the nation's capital. I like Jay Gruden and feel as though he has done some really good things with the Redskins, but we know the NFL is a bottom line business, and the bottom line is that the Redskins have only made the playoffs once during his tenure. The hope, and quite honestly, the expectation, is that 2018 will look and feel a lot different than the rest. In 2017, the Washington Redskins were dead last in rush defense, giving up 134 yards a game on the ground. And it's weird because the talent is definitely there for them to be successful, but to their credit, Last year's first round pick, Jonathan Allen, was hurt the majority of the season, but when he was out there, the run defense definitely fared better. In the draft, the Skins selected two outstanding talents in Deron Payne of Alabama and Tim Settle of Virginia Tech. Both guys are known for their ability versus the run and should be a welcome addition to Greg Minuski's defense. Now on the flip side, the rushing offense of the Redskins sputtered last year as well, averaging only 90 yards a game. Not since Clinton Portis and maybe Alfred Morris have the Skins had a guy that you could definitely key on. That's about to change with the drafting of Darius Geis out of LSU. He was one of the better backs in the draft class, and the Skins made out like bandits, scooping him up when they did in the draft. Geis gives Washington a bell call type back that has above average burst to rip off long runs, and he's just like the last three backs to come out of LSU, guys that seem to get stronger with each and every carry, and he'll be a valuable asset as a rookie for this offense. One of the main reasons for optimism for the Washington Redskins is because of the offensive weapons, at least in my opinion. The receiving core looks promising with Jamison Crowder, Josh Dotson, and free agent signee Paul Richardson. This is an explosive trio that is versatile enough to play multiple spots and is very dangerous after the catch. The backfield gets back Chris Thompson, who is critical in the passing game. Samaj P. Ryan proved valuable as rookie last year, leading the team in rushing. And in addition to Darius Geis in the draft, who will more than likely be the two-down starter on offense, there's a lot of potential here to improve on the offensive numbers from a year ago. You can also be optimistic about quarterback Alex Smith, who has definitely had two separate careers in his Kansas City stint, proved that he can be consistently efficient on offense, which is all they need from the pivot position in Washington. And I believe the defensive front personnel in Washington is tremendous. They're going to be really strong up front this season. On the edges, you have both Ryan Kerrigan and Preston Smith, both combined for 21 sacks last year. We saw Anthony Lanier and Matt Ioannidis come into their own last season as well. Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, and Tim Settle should improve their run defense significantly in 2018 and add in veteran guys like Ziggy Hood and Stacey McGee. And you have a strong core unit with depth up front. I think cornerback outside of Quentin Dunbar and Josh Norman would be a cause for concern. The Redskins traded away a very nice prospect in Kendall Fuller for Alex Smith, and they brought in Orlando Skandrick in the offseason to fill that void at nickel. But what can we expect from the 11-year vet is the biggest question. That does leave the door open for rookies Greg Stroman and undrafted rookie free agent Danny Johnson out of Southern to make an impact. Another question would be in Fabian Moreau, who played mostly special teams last year but was a third-round pick, so they're expecting to see some growth in his game pretty soon. Safety, in my opinion, is in better shape with Monte Nicholson and DJ Swearinger, but depth could be potentially a question mark as they move forward. Another concern would be the tight end position because of the health of Jordan Reed. When Reed is out there healthy, he's a beast, but the nagging injuries and the missing of time during the season really limits the potential of this offense, in my opinion. They'll need to continue to develop talent at that position as the number two tight end, Vernon Davis, will be 33 years old this season. I would also be a big concern about the inside linebacker. Zach Brown was the leading tackler last year and played really well for the Skins, but whether or not Mason Foster or Zach Vitchell can step up alongside of Brown and bring that stability is the biggest question. Or 
maybe a guy like Ryan Anderson can show the versatility that he showed at Alabama and take over the other inside backers. But I think Washington really would like for him to get more opportunities on the field this season. He could be the key to unlocking the second level. Here's some quick takes as the Redskins head into training camp. An offensive and defensive breakout candidate for the Redskins would be wide receiver Josh Doxson and safety Monte Nicholson. Both players really started to step up big time last year. Doxson proved to be a big play option in the passing game, scoring six touchdowns. Look for him to blossom into a true number one option this season. And what Nicholson did last year as a rookie was very impressive. The fourth round pick out of Michigan State was stellar the first eight games of the season before going down with an injury and being placed on IR. He'll pick up right where he left off prior to the injury. Two guys that'll be the talk of training camp are center Chase Rulie and undrafted free agent corner Danny Johnson. Rulie was excellent last year as a rookie starting a few games and really held his own in the middle. And Johnson was one of the top corners in the FCS, had a solid week of work at the Senior Bowl, and he has a knack for taking the ball away and could give the Redskins a legitimate option in the slot. Rookie impact players are two easy ones for me. Both Darius Geis and Deron Payne could find themselves on many all-rookie teams after the season. Geis could top the 1,000-yard mark as a rookie, while Payne will play an integral world role in the Skins' run defense improvement. And from a fantasy football perspective, the key fantasy impact player for the Skins that I would select would be running back Darius Geis. I fully expect the Redskins to try to work their ground game a bit more this season, and when you have a talent like Geis touching the ball, he's going to pile up the yards and it will be money inside the 10-yard line. The road to the Super Bowl for the Redskins goes as follows. The red zone offense has to improve significantly. In 2017, Washington was 31st in the NFL in red zone percentage. The expectation is that with a steady quarterback like Alex Smith, along with Darius Geis, it'll ensure that that will happen this upcoming season. Also, the offensive line has to remain intact. I like what they have up front, but they won't get guys like Trent Williams and Morgan Moses back until maybe the middle of camp as they're coming off off-season surgeries. And if this group can avoid the injury bug, they'll be a very strong unit. And both the running game and run defense has to get into the top 10. I know there's nowhere to go but up as they both were in the bottom quarter of the league last year statistically in both categories, but they have to make significant jumps if they want to get to Atlanta this winter. I have the Redskins finishing third in the NFC East. This is my sleeper pick for a wild card berth in the NFC. I like the pieces on this roster and the moves to get Alex Smith will prove to be a smart one. With the division that they are in, I don't think they'll have enough to get to the top spot, but they will be improved enough to make a very strong push for that sixth and final playoff spot. The Redskins will be a very solid team this upcoming season. So that's it for our 2018 NFL season team preview. Be sure to follow me on all of our social media accounts. Also check out and subscribe on iTunes to Football Game Plan Podcast and to find other NFL team previews for our 2018 NFL season kickoff. Visit the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan and click that subscribe button.